Hey guys, it's Neil again from Heart of Texas Armory. Welcome back to the channel. And today I want to bring you guys a video review of this really sweet automatic knife from Hogue. So join me today and find out my complete thoughts on this cool little automatic folder from Hogue. And before we get too far into this video review, I do want to let you guys know I do have these knives available for purchase at my web store, HarderTexasArmory.com. You can see that on your screen right now. And I'll also let you guys know I do have a coupon code for this knife. So if you apply that coupon code, it's going to save you $20 off your order. So definitely take advantage of that. These knives come in a variety of colors. So if you're interested in one of these knives, definitely head over to my website and pick one up today. Taking a look at the specs here of the micro switch from Hogue, you'll probably see that the overall size here is excellent, really nice for an everyday carry knife. The design of the micro switch is very similar to the micro flip from Hogue. You can see a example of the micro flip on your screen right now. I do have a full review of the micro flip as well on my channel, so check that out if you're interested in a flipper. But today we're taking a look at the micro switch, which is an automatic knife. So some of the highlights I'd like to talk about in regards to specs would be one, just the overall size of this knife. It's a nice compact size, but it fits nice in the hand as well. We have a blade length here of 2.75 inches, overall length of 6.6 .6 inches. The weight on this blade is also nice at under three ounces. So around 2.8, 2.9 ounces is what I'm getting on my scale. That's a great weight for an everyday carry knife. So it's not gonna be too heavy in your pocket. The steel here is also a really nice choice. So Hogue went with CPM 154, which is a stainless steel. It's a pretty high performance steel. It's gonna hold its edge really nice, but it's not too hard to resharpen if you need to. Overall, I think that CPM 154 is one of my favorite steels in regards to an EDC knife. So just like the micro flip, the micro switch was designed by Alan Elishwist and is 100% made and manufactured here in the United States, which is a awesome feature in my opinion. So overall, the specs here are really impressive, particularly on a automatic knife under $150. Taking a close look here at the construction of the micro switch, you can see that the handles here are machined out of 6061 aluminum and they have some interesting machining cuts into it, which adds grip as well as jimping here on the back. The anodization is also nice on this. It is what seems like more of a military grade anodization, meaning it's just more durable. Similar to what you'd see on like a firearm versus say a cheaper anodization that you'd see on a flashlight. We do have a spring steel pocket clip here that is reversible and it's set up for tip up carry only. So it is reversible, so you cannot carry tip down. So keep that in mind if you prefer to carry your knives in that configuration. So overall, the pocket clip performs pretty well here. You can see it goes in and out of the pocket with ease. Although I will mention it's not a true deep carry. You can see you have about three eighths of an inch exposed when it's in the pocket, but overall the pocket clip works just fine. We do have a stainless steel spacer here. And what's cool about the spacer is that it has some interesting kind of machining cuts into it or file work. So adds a little more flair to this knife. And you can see that it carries over into a pretty sharp point here that you could use for a pommel, say in a self-defense situation where you're not able to get the blade out. If you're able to grab this knife like I'm doing now and hit someone with that pommel, it's definitely going to do some damage. So the micro switch is an automatic knife here and to operate the mechanism, all you need to do is push this button right here. And so long as the safety's off, the blade will fire out with some authority. You can see it locks into position, beautiful operation and feel to that automatic mechanism. It may not fire quite as hard as a Protec, but it's very close. To close the blade, all you have to do is push the button again, which will release the blade and you're able to swing the blade into the closed position. This knife also features a very well done safety here. You can see that right there. So if you push the safety up into this position here, it is now on safe mode. The button will not fire no matter what you do. It's a physical block to that button. So it's a very robust design. If you pull the safety back, you're able to fire that blade open with the push of the button. Another nice feature about this safety is when the blade is in its open position, like you see now, the safety can also be used to lock the blade in the open position. So when you push the safety up and you're not able to depress this button until you unlock that safety. So pretty cool that the safety operates in the open or closed position. In hand, the knife is very comfortable to use. You can see there is plenty of jimping here along the back of the blade as well as the handles. So pretty much any position you try to hold this blade is going to feel very secure in your hand. 
The comfort of this blade in hand is quite exceptional, and that's pretty much a trademark of all of the Allen Elishwish designs. So to wrap this video review up, we'll close out with the positives and negatives. So the positives are pretty apparent here. I'm a big fan of this knife overall. Very similar to the excellent micro flip knife from Hogue. But of course this one, you get that really sweet automatic action. I really like the steel choice here of CPM 154. That is an excellent EDC steel, performs beautifully. They rock weld this to 57 to 59, so it's gonna hold an edge for a long time, but it's also easy to resharpen if you ever needed to. The material and construction of this blade is also quite nice. This knife is 100% made in the USA, which is always a great feature. And the materials that they use to construct this knife is all high quality. So we do have a stainless steel backspacer, 6061 anodized aluminum handles. And one thing I'll point out on this particular model here is this is a blacked out model and Hogue did not cheap out at all because you can see this knife is completely blacked out. So a lot of knife manufacturers will have a blacked out knife, but then some of the small parts and hardware may not be blacked out. But this one here, everything from the screws, the internals, everything is completely blacked out, which is really sweet. And the last positive I'll mention here is the automatic action. So very nice action when you push the button here you can see that blade fires right out with some authority definitely like that and i also like the feel of when you close the blade here it has a nice detent that lets you know that you lock it into the closed position so overall the automatic mechanism here is excellent so with this blade here, I don't have a lot of negatives to report to you guys. I'll just have a few minor nitpicks here I'll mention. So first off is the pocket clip. The pocket clip works just fine like I mentioned earlier, but I do think that the pocket clip could be improved. So the design is nothing special. It's just a wrap piece of spring steel. I think with this knife here, you have a really cool looking design. And I think Ho could improve the aesthetics of the clip just a little bit to match the overall design of the rest of the knife. And the last little minor negative I'll mention is the blade grind profile. So what we have here is a hollow grind, which the hollow grind I'm sure most of you guys are familiar with. It works just fine for most tasks, but with a small knife like this, I actually would have preferred a full flat ground blade, which would give the knife a little bit better performance in regards to slicing. But overall, this really is an excellent little everyday carry automatic knife. So if you're in the market for a high quality US made automatic folder, you definitely should consider this Hogue Micro Switch. And guys, don't forget, if you do want to pick one of these up, head over to my website, heartoftexasarmory.com, and don't forget to apply that coupon code. If you have any questions or comments on this knife, leave them down below, and I'll do my best to answer them. Guys, I'll catch you on the next one. Y'all take care.